Nicole. Nicole impacting the southeastern United States, bringing heavy rains and winds. The storm made landfall in Florida as a hurricane, leaving behind massive destruction to the state's coastline. The remains of Nicole now affecting us here in the Carolinas as we remain under a tornado watch in the Charlotte area. Right now, let's go to live pictures over Uptown Charlotte. And this picture gives you a, a slight, slight glimpse of the gloominess, also of the rain you can see on the lens there. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it over to meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhe. She joins us at, and we are still under a tornado watch till what, like three o'clock? Is that the case? Yeah, tornado watch till 3 p.m. Ben, and of course that's a big deal because we're on the northeastern quadrant of Nicole. I'm going to talk a little bit more about what that means, why we're under that higher risk, but actually something just occurring a few minutes ago that I do want to draw your attention to. If you live up in the mountains and the foothills, uh, officially northwestern parts here of Caldwell and Burke counties under a flash flood warning. Now that's been upgraded again to a flash flood warning. What does this mean? Well, it means that in areas that have already seen upwards of about three to even five inches of rain up toward the mountains and foothills, additional rainfall could produce the risk for widespread flash flooding. That's the flooding that happens very quickly and can happen really almost at an instant. So if you live in these areas, uh, Pineoli, Grassy Creek, down toward Linville, you need to be prepared for the potential to need to seek higher ground if that does happen anytime in your area. This is going to be going on there until four o'clock. We also have flood warnings up toward the mountains as well as they've seen a lot of rain, especially for those northern areas. And of course, this all on the back end here of Nicole, the center of circulation actually over toward northern Georgia, but we're actually on pretty much the worst side that you would want to be on uh, experiencing that heavy rain, gusty wind, and even that opportunity for some tornadoes. So of course, Ben and Sarah mentioning this, that the tornado watch is in effect that does include Mecklenburg County over toward Cabarrus County, Rowan, Stanley counties, Union, Anson, as well as over toward Richmond counties. Uh, this, of course, does include mostly areas east of 75, but everyone across the Carolinas does need to be prepared. And in fact, some of these views starting to see a few peaks of sunshine. That's one of the reasons why a lot of times with these systems, we see sunshine and a lot of folks think, yay, the sun's out. Well, unfortunately, that oftentimes leads to additional instability and can prompt additional opportunities for strong storms. So right now we have the warmth, we have the moisture temperatures in the 70s, and we're going to see multiple rounds of rain continuing throughout the day. So I'll have the full update for you on when we expect that tornado risk to be over, when we expect the rain to be over, all of that coming up in just a few minutes. Brittany, thank you. Now we want to check in with WCNC Charlotte's Richard Devane, who's in the Chevy Storm Tracker for us. Hey, Richard. Hey, I'm giving you a preview, a real quick preview of the roads out here. So far, uh, so good. That wasn't the case earlier this morning, but as you can see right now, we're along 7th Street. There's some water on the ground, not too much coming down at this moment. We've had on and off throughout the morning a lot of rain, so there have been some places where cars have been, the water has been pooling up, and there have been a number of accidents that we could, that we reported earlier this morning. So far this afternoon, things are a little bit better as folks make their way on the road. We're in Uptown, and as you can see, people are out and about uh, doing their thing, albeit a little bit wetter than normal or they would like. But uh, right now, things are good. Not much happening as far as any accidents, we're told, other than uh, what we had this morning, the morning commute. But of course, that situation could always change. So if you have to go out today, just be a little bit careful because there's still some water on the ground. And, and folks are the worst thing think people can do is think that everything is OK and start running out there and speeding. Uh, that's the situation right here in the Chevy Storm Tracker. We're going to send it back to you.